Hey everyone, it's Chris, and I'm here to film the BookTuber shoutout tag. I was tagged by Rachel Hobson, who is wonderful, and you guys should definitely go check out her channel. I'm going to put a link to her channel down below. I'm also going to put a link down to the creator of the BookTuber shoutout tag. And let's get started, because this is a very long tag. <laughs> Question number one is, who was the first BookTuber you discovered, and um, what was the video? I'm fairly certain... I figured this out because I thought about the videos that I watched first were the Blood of the Olympus unboxings. And the first one that I saw was actually Jenna Clark's Blood of the Olympus unboxing. And then I saw the rest out of order from there. And yeah, so that was the first book two video that I watched. And I forgot to film number two because I didn't know the answer at the time, but I'm going to do it now. And number two is your most recently subscribed booktuber. And at the time of filming this, that was Ian Brenner. And um, he has a booktube channel, but he also does music and arts and gaming stuff on his channel. I like the variety of it, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to subscribe to this guy. Number three is, did any booktubers inspire you to start your own channel? For me, I think it was the book basement. Um, I was pretty sure I was, like, excited. I was like, I kind of want to do this after I saw the Blood of Olympus unboxings and then some other videos after that. But after I saw the book basement's review of our song, Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe, I decided I wanted to make my own channel, which was very shortly after first discovering it, because I was just like, this is cool, I want to do it, then I started doing it. The name of Booktuber that has been with you since the beginning. Uh, besides Rachel, because she definitely has been. Tiny Teacup's been there from really early on, and I feel like she's always been, like, very present. And Erica Esther's also was one of my very early subscribers, um, and I've been subscribed to her for just as long as she's been subscribed to me, I think. But, like, she, she's one of my early subscribers as well, and she's fantastic. I'm a booktuber you've been subscribed to since their beginning, and I think I'm gonna go with Rainbow Sky Child because I she's very recently started booktube, and I'm pretty sure I subscribed, like, right when she posted her booktube newbie tag. Um, and then the other person I'm thinking of is Jeremy from Books and Plays and Comments of Jeremy. I don't think I was subscribed to him right away, but I basically have watched all of his videos now. And I think I started subscribing to him like a month or so after he joined into uh, the booktube community. So he's fantastic. She's fantastic. They're both fantastic. Go follow them if you want. Name a booktuber whose creativity you love. Uh, for this, I'm going to go with two people who are writers. I didn't plan on doing this, but that's how it came out. Um, but Sarah Crawford, she is the creator of this uh, Friday Five, and she's uh, also done a really recently done a really awesome theater tag. Did you guys go check out? And she's just great. So Sarah. And the other person is Alf Books, because Alf is this really creative person. I like the way he thinks, and it's just like, I, I love Alf. He's great. Alf is fantastic. I love you, Alf. Name a booktuber whose positivity you love. For that, I'm going to go with Nicolette Reads, because she's this really positive person. Even like uh, I feel like um, even if she approaches just negative things, she does it in a positive way. And she and she's just really friendly and nice. The other person, Erica from Snagging on Sunday's Books, um, and this is I I was thinking of one of Erica's discussion bit videos where she approaches things in a very just positive way, and I'm so I was like Erica for sure has to be in this category. Ooh, okay. Next one, name a booktuber whose honesty honesty you admire. I'm going with first Richard Denning. Richard is honest and just like put stuff out there, and I love him for it. Two, Joseph from The Boy Who Cried Bucks. I love Joseph reviews. I love the way Joseph talks in his wrap-ups. He is just, he'll just tell you how he felt, and it's, it's just wonderful. I mean, I, I do pretty much the same thing if I don't like but, but like, he's just, he, he's just great. Joseph's great. And three is Ivan from Sona Azra. Uh, Ivan is, I really like Ivan's doing discussion videos. Ivan, I don't know how many discussion videos Ivan's done, but when I've watched Ivan's discussion videos, he's been just really awesome. <laughs> like, I really like it. He's, he puts it out there. He, he, he's very honest, and he puts it out there, so definitely gonna go with Ivan for that one as well. His name is who always makes you laugh. I have three for this one again. Uh, and that are Fanboy Reads. Uh, Fanboy Reads is just a hilarious guy. He, he's just great. <laughs> Dom's great. Um, Cody Captures, because they have a kind of witty humor. I, I, I feel like Cody in Captures is just very witty, and not, not only in 
their booktube uh, videos, but also in their vlogs that they've done separately from on their vlog channel. They're just great. I love them. And the third person who always makes me laugh is Neck of the Book Lock. Neck of the Book Lock has like a great humor. I like, I like his sense of humor. It's 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 a sense of humor that I get. I feel like we get along in person with his with the way his sense of humor comes across in his videos at least. So that good the book lock. So the next one is named a super friendly booktuber, someone who is always uh, commenting on your videos or always responding to your comments. The first person I'm going to say for this one is Allison Tago. Allison's great. She comments on uh, most of my videos and you're, you're just wonderful and I love you. And the other person, Malia Marie, who also comments on a lot of my videos and she always responds to my comments on her videos and you're just great. And the other person is Bookish Best Friends, Lucy and Veronica. I do really long comments where I'm like comment about this, 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 and this and they will respond to every single part, especially if like parts of it are like for Lucy and one part's for Veronica, like I'll get responses from both of them. They are fantastic for doing that and for putting up with my long comments. So Bookish Best Friends, Lucy and Veronica, thumbs up for you guys, thumbs up for Allison, thumbs up for Millie and Marie. Name a booktuber who is always making you add books to your TBR. For this one I'm going to go with Magical Molly. I feel like every time I watch one of Magical Molly's videos I'm like, ooh, I want to read that. And I'm like, looking stuff up on Goodreads and like thinking about what like getting the Batwoman woman comic books and I don't really read a lot of comic books but I'm like man the next time I read a comic book it's probably gonna be Batwoman. Yeah. Okay, name a booktuber who has similar taste in books of you. I'm gonna go with a uh, feminist book lover. I feel like I just watched feminist book lovers um, book courtship tag that she tagged me in and I swear every single book she mentioned I was just like yeah okay I love that book. <laughs> like Thumbs up! Thumbs up! And then I also just went on good reason did our like compatibility book wise thing, and we have good book compatibility. So feminist book lover. It's tea leaves and book binders because tea leaves and book binders is one of those pe few people I know who has read the Circle of Magic book series and really enjoyed it their experience with that. And we also have a lot of other books in, company, in common. When she reads contemporary, she, re uh, she reads a lot of queer contemporary. And so, yeah, tea leaves and book bindings with that other person that I think has similar taste with. Name a booktuber who has different tastes in books than you, but you still enjoy the channel. But I'm going to go with The Broken in the Bookish. I want to read more books like what The Broken in the Bookish has been, has been reading recently on her channel. She reads a lot of uh, more cultural books. She reads, she reads some things about African cultures and different cultures, and I want to read more of those things. I just haven't. Um, but she, like, oh my gosh, she's so intellectual. Like, she is so smart. Like, I, like, I will watch her videos and just be, like, in awe. I was watching one of her videos on my, like, screen, and my mother was just like, wow, she's really smart. And I'm like, yeah, I'm aware, and I feel like I need to read more of the books that you read. Same thing with Turtle Sympathy. Turtle Sympathy, reads um, a very wide variety of books, but I feel like a variety even more so than I have gotten to recently. And the last person, probably Bookstation. Bookstation, uh, I love Bookstation videos so much, um, but I feel like like it's the opposite of the TBR thing with Molly, where it's like, I'm not jumping to put most of those books on my TBR, but there are some books that we have in common. But it's just a little dissimilar from the books that I normally read. A booktuber who impresses you with the amount of books that they read. Michael reads because he just read 18 books last month. Go Michael. And then Josh from Literary Gladiators because Josh be, like kills it on the books reading. Like his wrap ups just are like good and I feel like he always gives a, a good amount of books in them so I'm gonna say Josh. So the last question is to give a shout out to someone with less than 500 subscribers, someone with more than 10,000 subscribers, and someone in between. I'm going to have two for less than 500, and that's where first one is Ross Reads. He has a really great personality, and I think we actually kind of have a similar taste in books somewhat. And yeah, I just really like him. He's a lot. He's great. Two, Tom Hoffman is a recent follow of mine, and he's another person with just like a really fantastic personality. You watch one of his videos, and his personality definitely comes through. So I'm definitely going to go with Tom for my other shout out for less than 500. In the middle shout outs, are for Dynamic Dylan. I love Dylan so much. He makes me want to read more manga and I have added so many mangas to my like list thing of like mangas that I want to start because of Dylan's channel and he's just fantastic. He's wonderful. Um, the other person, Stigwala. Stigwala is hilarious.
hilarious. Steak Willem's vlogs are the best. If you go watch his VidCon vlog vlogs because they're just lovely. Um, and then JG. JG is just funny. I love her personality. She's fantastic. Last two shoutouts for people with more than 10,000. First one is Bangity Bangs. Love Bangity Bangs so much. He's great. Just go check him out. He does awesome videos. I love his challenges with his brother. And he's just great. He's a great guy. I think everyone I mentioned in this video is tagged to do it. I think that's how it worked. Yeah, that's how it works. So yeah, you should totally go do this um, if I mentioned you. And you should, if you are watching this and you're not subscribed to the people that I mentioned down there, you should go and subscribe to all of them because they are all awesome. I'm so sorry for the people that I couldn't get into this. Like, there were so many people I wanted to put in this somehow. And as you can see, I stretched each category with people, but like... I couldn't put everyone that I wanted to put in here, but who knows? Maybe I'll do a shout out video again at some point in the future. Who knows? Life, love, liberty, pursuit of happiness, and all that. I'm gonna go because I'm getting into that place where I start rambling and doing things with my hands, and I'm just gonna go and say I love you guys, and I will see you next time.